What's going on guys, it's Shadow Elite, your JRPG enthusiast, and it's time for some JRPG news. So, without any further ado, let's get this started, shall we? And the first piece of news is Tales of Hearts R has been confirmed for a release in the West. Guys, we're getting that Tales of Goodness in the West here. We are finally getting our dues. Earlier, earlier this week, this was just a rumor that was um, put up because of a GameStop listing. Had it only for a GameStop exclusive, but it turns out that rumor has been confirmed as the truth. It will be a GameStop only exclusive. It will be available for digital download on the PlayStation Store as well. I'm really excited for this one, guys. Tales of Hearts first came out way back in 2008 for the Nintendo DS. We didn't get it that time because at the time, you know, you know, JRPG sales was kind of shaky, so companies didn't want to take chances. And now we're showing Nanko Bandai that we're here. There's a dedicated fan base. There are fans buying the games, and we are so grateful for this. So definitely will be picking this up you might want to pick this up when it comes out because being a GameStop only exclusive this game is going to sell like hotcakes first of all and it's going to be real rare as hell so you might want to think Xenoblade Chronicles you know how that game is like a hundred dollars right now everywhere else yeah I think this is gonna be the same case so definitely excited definitely looking forward to winter of 2014 the next piece of news is this week conception 2 for the PlayStation Vita and Nintendo 3DS has been released. I have downloaded it for my um, PlayStation Vita on my 64 gigabyte memory card that I just got for it. And uh, I gotta say, the game is, it, it's good so far. Um, I like the uh, combat system and I like the um, the artwork on the characters. They look It looks pretty nice. But uh, the game has a lot of sexual innuendo that, um, well, personally, I find it to be very entertaining and hilarious. I can see some people being completely put off by it. But um, I'm having a good time just laughing my ass off about some of this stuff. I mean, the 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 male and the females get together to classmate and have the female conceive a baby or a star children so they can fight. You know, it's a lot of sexual um, references in this game. But like I said, I'm enjoying it and I'm just laughing <laughs> as I'm playing it. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of Conception 2 if you already have it. Should be worth noting though that the 3DS version has a little bit of a drop in frame rate and the graphics look a little bit jaggy. Whereas on the Vita, the graphics are much more smooth and the frame rate is much better. Other than that, the two versions are virtually the same. On to other news we have three PlayStation Vita games coming in the West. Wow, the PlayStation Vita is getting a lot of RPGs. This is awesome. So the first game is Freedom Wars. This game puts you in the shoes of someone that is serving a million year life sentence and have to save people in order to shave some years off of their sentence. I gotta say, this game looks pretty awesome with an action RPG premise and has shooting mechanics and it looks like it will also have online multiplayer. And it also looks like you can jump around and the character customization looks pretty awesome. Oh wow, I'll definitely be giving this one a um, download when it comes out in the West. I'm really glad I got a Vita and I got that 64 gigabyte memory card. The next game is Soul Sacrifice Delta. We'll also be seeing a English release sometime this year. Uh, Soul Sacrifice Delta is a, is a sequel to the first Soul Sacrifice game. Um, I didn't play um, first Soul Sacrifice. Why? Well, I just didn't have the time to be honest. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I thought the game looked great, but just didn't have the time to play it. I think it was on PlayStation Plus a while back. I think I downloaded it. Maybe I'll come back to it to play it. I'm not sure. And the last announcement in this um, new segment is Orishika Tented Bloodlines is also coming out on the PlayStation Vita. I have no idea what this game is about. It just has some um, anime trailer here and uh, no gameplay. But uh, I don't know. I gotta see some gameplay for this one in order to honestly be, get hyped about it. But uh, as what I'm seeing right now, I don't think I'll be getting this game. I don't know. Gameplay does a lot, so I could change my mind. It could change my mind. So anyway, guys, that is it for this segment of JRPG news. I'm excited for Freedom Wars. I mean, really, I, I can't wait to play that game. And I gotta say, I'm really looking forward to Tales of Hearts R making that release in the winter. Um, always wanted to play Tales of the Hearts, um, like I said. It was a game that um, I put on a list of five um, JRPGs that was never released outside of Japan. Thank you. We are finally getting um, our dues. 
maybe just maybe sometime down the line some of those other games that I put on that list will be released as well but definitely looking forward to this really glad I got a Vita seriously anybody saying that the Vita doesn't have games at this point is clearly trolling I mean is the Vita expensive yeah it is are the memory cards overpriced you bet your ass they are but does it have games yes it does it definitely has Game. Anyway guys, that is it for this segment of JRPG News. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this news and I will see you guys there in the comments. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know my immediate thoughts on the latest JRPG news, rumors, or gaming news in general, and to see my latest updates on the games I'm currently playing, follow me on Twitter. Anyway guys, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Peace.